Here locally, there was a report of some pea-sized hail north, uh, just north of Gilmer on Highway 155, and then also there was a some wind damage in parts of Marion County near Jefferson, a power line down on a tree, causing the tree to catch fire there. Uh, there was a severe thunderstorm warning at the time, so it is potentially a 60 mile per hour wind gust there that did cause that damage. Behind that cold front, though, the temperature change has been a bit wild. Here's a look at the temperature change compared to 24 hours ago. Some of us are 40 degrees colder than compared to this time yesterday, so it's much cooler out there. In fact, we do have a freeze warning in effect for many of our counties, and even if your county is not under a freeze warning, everybody is likely to drop into the lower 30s and some of us even into the upper 20s. At this point in time, because some spots have already reached the freezing mark, I can't rule out some mid 20s to bottom out at Sunday morning in areas north of Interstate 20. So it's going to be very cold to start your day tomorrow, and that's thanks to clear skies and calm winds overnight, and that is optimal conditions for cooling. As we head into your day on a Sunday, though, not too bad if you want to head to the golf course. Lots of sunshine expected, temperatures warming into the mid 50s by noon, climbing up to around 60 at 3 o'clock, and then by your 5 o'clock hour into the upper 50s. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Now we are going to be dry for Sunday and Monday. Uh, a straight shower possible on Tuesday and then better rain chances for Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Much warmer for the middle part of next week.